各位在台湾的观众，大家好。今天呢，在风和日丽的瑞典，我们很荣幸的访问到，在明郑时期跟郑成功对抗的末代总督奎伊的后代。那我们现在站在瑞典非常有名的古城，其中有一个教堂呢，是这个古城的核心。在这里呢，埋葬了许多对瑞典非常有贡献的有名人士，而其中奎伊。奎耶的家庭也在里面。那我们今天访问到的这个人呢，是奎伊硕果仅存的后代。Can you tell us about what's the relation between you and Freddy Koye? Freddy Koye arrived in Sweden, or his ancestors arrived in Sweden here, 1567. And in the church we have behind us. Uh, the grandfather of Frederick Coyet and his great grandfather are both buried. So they came originally from Holland, um, and they were Protestants. So they had to flee, uh, together with many other Protestants, from uh, from the Spanish at that time. And he uh, and the family ended up here in Sweden in 1567. So Frederick was actually the great grandson of the first Coyet to arrive here.、Uh, so before he left Sweden, the family had lived here for about a hundred years. Then the Coyet family is part of the Lutheran Church. Actually, before Coyet came to Holland to work, his father had lived in Sweden for more than a hundred years. 所以 ，Koye 的根是在瑞典。In all Chinese papers, even the school books, everybody say Koye is is Dutch, and then this idea has already continued for a hundred years. So, how will you explain and how will you tell the Taiwanese people that you know the truth? Yes. Well, Freddy Koye, he was working for the Dutch, and as I mentioned before. Uh, the roots and the origins of the family is from Holland,、mm -hmm. but even before he he left, the family had been living here for a hundred years.、Mm -hmm. We must also remember that at that time here in Stockholm, there were lots of foreigners,、mm -hmm. mainly Germans, but also Dutch and also from other countries of Europe.、Mm -hmm. So Stockholm was actually quite an international city at that time, although it was of course much smaller than it is today.、Uh, But also、uh, during the time of Frederick and his brother Peter Julius, who was a very prominent Swedish diplomat at the time, they were both introduced here at the Swedish House of of Nobility, which is、uh, right behind my back、uh, to where I'm standing here.、Mm -hmm. So,、um, I mean, we are 100% Swedish, <laughs> uh, and uh, we are, but we have our Our origins in in Holland, yes. Oh, Koya 先生呢，在这里非常确信的说，他们百分之百绝对是瑞典人。只不过是那个在那个时代里面呢，因为因为在在他们很多根基都是从荷兰那个地方，所以呢，也许台湾人在这边现在要重新思考一下。他只是为荷兰的东印度公司工作，但是他的根源呢，绝对是百分之百的瑞典人。So do you have any special way to honor your ancestor? Yes,、um, quite often the family comes here to this church behind here, and、uh, especially together with my daughter Emily.、Mm -hmm. uh, We we go to the、um, to the family grave here to pay our respects. Why? I'm curious. You come to Beijing to study Chinese. I come to Beijing to study Chinese because my ancestors have been in China for a long time. Their history plays a very important role. Your ancestors have been in China for a long time. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Emily. 很高兴能在这里听到你说中文，<笑>所以呢，现在呢，我们大概就要跟着他们一起去做一趟寻根之旅，然后去缅怀一下他们的祖先，就在教堂里面。我们走吧。One more question: Is there any other trace for the Koya family in Sweden? Yes,、um, apart from that 
there are about 20 of us who are still alive mm -hmm. in, and, and living in Sweden. Um, in Stockholm there are uh, there is one big monument to one of the big Swedish kings who lived also in the 17th century. Mm -hmm. And the uh, brother of Frederick Coyette, his name is written on, on the base of that statue because he was one of the, of the main diplomats of that time. Mm -hmm. There is also in, in the old town behind us uh, uh, a house called the Coyette House, w which belonged to the family for, for, for a number of years. But uh, most of the traces actually of the family are not in, Sweden, in, in Stockholm, but outside of Stockholm and mainly in the south of Sweden, mm -hmm. where the family had many uh, of the castles and, and, and the manor houses. Uh, so that is where you can find many of the traces still today. Okay, thank you.